So the goal is to play 72 holes in 72 hours. This is what we do, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like it. <laughs> it is birdie season. Be open to the possibility. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> you wanna hold hands and skip while we're at it? I'm okay. <laughs> Well, here we are in Boston. Boston. Let me just uh, check the app real quick. Spot C5. C5, let's go. The Avis Preferred is definitely a must do. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't do that. I mean, we spent more time putting our bags in than we actually did trying to get the car. Okay, Maurice, we're on our way to Pine Hills Golf Club. We're in a little bit of weather, so hopefully it clears up by the time we get there. I think it'll be a great experience. Definitely looking for traveling all over the eastern part of Massachusetts. It'll be interesting just to kind of dip into the history of the place. I'm excited to see the difference in golf between San Fran and here. Because we're jumping really coast to coast here. Fresh off the plane, no warm up, and we're here at the Jones course at Pine Hills Golf Club. I like your outfit. I tried. But the shoes is the highlight, I think. The first hole's pretty open, which we need right now. You oh, should no. be okay. I'll take that. First little approach of the day. <laughs> Let's go. I used to be the only girl at the range, but now it's awesome, especially after COVID, that you know I have a little group of them, and I actually met one of my best friends during the pandemic at the range, which is something that would never have happened five, six years ago. On to the next hole. Split the middle of the fairway. When's the last time you played without a color golf ball? Competition, never. Never would, never have, never will. Yeah, nice. Gotta keep it in the fairway. Don't need to go rawr. Oh, 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 please stop, stop. Oh, oh, I love you so much. That was mint. It is birdie season. That's Bodhi, folks. Oh, that's pretty good. Thank you. I like that. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Bird Bird, you got the word. That's looking good. That's looking real good. I'll take that. It's a good day to be Avery right now. Oh. Oh. All right, make room for the queen. Wah, wah, wah. 18, last hole. Last hole, it's a push-up hole. Loser of this hole has to do 10 push-ups. Ooh. Oh! The course is magnificent. This is something yeah. people have to come and they have to come and enjoy this place. Oh, Ooh. wow. Ooh. Good bird. That is a bird. It's time to get out of these golf clothes and go learn about history of the area. While we're learning about history, let's revisit history and you have 10 push-ups oh. to do on this hole. I think I did 11. No, that was 10. Oh, it was? <laughs> good work, though. All in good fun. Enjoy being around you. And we're going to head over to the Plymouth Patuxent Museum. So you are immersed in a village that recreates what Colonial Plymouth looked like seven years after Mayflower landed. There was one street. There were 250 people here, about 35 families. And we put you right in the middle of their daily life. We rocking and rolling now. We are on the new adventures of Donkey Kong, because apparently <laughs> that is what in the hell this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there it is. Here they're running races. Uh, pitching the bar. Whoa, 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 this thing's a little earlier. top heavy. Where you took a big log on your fingertips and you run and try to throw it as far as you can. <laughs> Yeet. Well done. All right. Bowling, yeah. they call it nine pins. Pressure. No! You just gotta be soft. Oh my gosh. Finesse. Jam. <laughs> Oh, sweet guy. Wow, you made that look so easy. We're headed to Marion Golf Club. This is the 
first course of day two and the only course of day two because we will be playing it twice. I heard it was designed by George Thomas who actually designed Riviera okay. in Los Angeles. So it should be a super fun track. Looking around, looks like a neat little track, but the clubhouse. A little old school. Oh, come back. Oh, what do you mean come back? Just go where you're going. Don't listen to her. What's your favorite encore snack? Oh, come on, Uncrustable. Ah, me too. I love a good PB&J. Oh, that was a great trip though. What is this ball marker you have? I've never seen anything like that. I got it from uh, someone who's extremely special to me. They went to the military and this is one of the first completion coins that they got, so I carry it with me. And it's working for you. I look at it as paying homage to people who've, you know, supported you throughout the way. All right, where is this next one? So we have no clue where we are. This is our first time here. All right, I need like a little legend or something. I'm still lost. Took us a little while, but we found it. Is this the Great Wall? I think it's like an old wartime wall or I something like that. I don't even like know. That. It kind of looks like if I touch it, it could fall over. I mean, you're kind of in a fortress when you look at it. I don't know about you guys, but I've never been on a course and seen a wall guard the green. Come on, come on, come on. Hey! Oh! I like that. You gotta tell me, what's the story behind those shoes? Uh, it was a shoe done to kind of mimic the Chunky Dunky Ben and Jerry's. Oh. Oh. The ice cream. So yeah, like cows, ice yeah, cream. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. All right, Avery, so we played the first nine. So instead of playing the same course the same way, yeah. let's play from the red tees. You wear pink a lot. You have pink tape on your hands, pink head cover, pink golf balls. And why is that? Growing up, two of my best friends, their moms actually died of breast cancer. And they were like my aunts. So that's my just way of, you know, remembering them. Nice. Look at all the boats. Yeah, that's actually a pretty cool view. Come on. You. Back to back. Ooh. Come on, come on. Birdies. Come on, try to do go. the move. Try to do the I'm move. Not, I'm not doing Please. that. I'm not doing that. I don't know what the... I don't know what that is, but it's just weird. At the turn, I went by the pro shop, asked the guy what in the world is going on with all these walls. It was, I guess, how they distinguished certain parts of the farm. Were your cow shoes in the farm too? <laughs> mm. Oh, that was nice. Mm. He did not just do that. Last hole of the day, as usual, closest to the pin, 10 push-ups. That's a good. That should be okay. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an 88 yard walk of shame. Yep. Come on. Oh my gosh. Wow. Great course. Um, definitely different than I thought it was gonna be. A lot of twist and turns, trick kind of stuff. No, this is definitely a course for people who like to use their imagination and play golf. Good push-ups. I try. Day three. Day three! 36 holes to <laughs> round out our final. 72 and 72. Well, we're on our way to play Cape Cod Country Club. Looks pretty nice, looks pretty open. I'm gonna help with our no warm-ups. As usual, ladies first. And away we go. Away we go. Yeah, that's a draw, I'll take that. I slipped a little bit. So what made you slip? Your shoes too drippy? How many pairs of golf shoes do you think you have? <laughs> 80. 80? Yes. Wow, that's 79 more than most people. Come on. I like the bounce, baby. Remember bounce at a place I've never been before. So Matt, I hear there's a lot of history around Cape Cod Country Club. There is. The golf course uh, was built in the late 20s mm -hmm. and on the property was a playhouse mm -hmm. and there were people like uh, Jimmy Stewart and James Cagney and sometime in uh, the mid 80s it burned down 
and it got converted into this great little chipping green. And all this is just a hundred yards from the tent tee. Hey oh sir! I think the biggest difference from where I'm from in here is like how all the highways and stuff are lined with trees. Where I'm from, there's towns, there's apartments, there's complexes. I can definitely get that. You get the small town vibe. You go from little town to town and you can see some of that cool stuff. Nice. You know what I've noticed? We stayed out of bunkers today. Drain the putt to finish the first 18. Come on. Oh, there you go. Great job. Well, that's 18 in the books. You hungry? Uh, of course, I can always eat. Hey guys, how are you? Good, hey, how, how are you? you doing? Good, welcome to the Raw Bar. What's your, your big thing? Is the Monster Lobster Roll. Is it wicked? Uh, it is wicked. It's wicked big. Well, we've both never had one. Two of those? Two of those. Whoa. Wow. That's crazy. So this is just lobster and bread and mayonnaise, or is there seasoning? Nope, no seasoning. Okay. How do you it's eat this? Just, you got the fork to get you started, and I gotta admit, I'd say 90% of the customers don't even finish the bread. So to eat all of this is... Is, is a feat. So when was this place open originally? 1984, and the lobster meat is prepared seven days a week. That's how much we go through. Wow. wow. Yeah. I'm up to the challenge to see if I can eat this whole thing. <laughs> it might be difficult to swing a club when you're done. <laughs> so we're here at the club at New Seabury on the ocean course. Obviously very picturesque. Oh yeah, very picturesque. Got the high fescues, green grass, and behind us we got the water. The Let's do a little scramble. That's fine. Oh, drop right next to it, like that. Come on, turn. Let's go. She made it. That's a team bird right there. Most stunning views that we've seen so far. It's rare that you have the ocean, flowers, kind of a ravine. Well, I remember a guy telling us about the course where there's a few parts where you're actually below sea level. Oh, wow. And I guess this would be it because you're underneath the dunes. Wow, the wind got every piece of that. Sick. We're scrambling in the scramble. Does that make sense? Yep, that we are. What have you thought about Cape Cod so far? When you look at anything in the New England area, you understand that this is the oldest part of American history. Mm -hmm. So seeing some of the older golf courses, looking at some of the architecture that's involved, and it's just really been an amazing experience. Nice and smooth. Turn, turn, get in. Oh, there you go. There we go. That's what New England does. Lobster rolls and championships. Absolutely. Final hole of 72 is next. Oh, wow. Cheers. Might as well hit together. Whoa, I'm long. Let's leave out of here at least with a par. Okay, so all we need here is a two putt. Well, the speed was good. Maurice's chance of making this putt um, zero. We'll take that, leave. That's how it's done. And that is 72 holes, ladies 72? and gentlemen. 72? It's been Aww. fun. All right, well, how about we get out of this rain and get back into our Irvis rental and find somewhere dry to go hang out and get some food? We have to do it again. Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll do it again. <laughs>